Hi guys, told you I had a lot more to show you. New in from Meng, this is Meng's 24 scale uh, Ford GT40 Mark, uh, Mark II from 1966. Essentially, it's the scale down version of their 12 scale car or 16 scale car, whatever, um, in 24 scale. The detail is a little bit less uh, extensive because obviously reducing this, the kit and everything else in the scale. So they've had to do a few different bits and pieces, but there's a lot in the kit. Uh, a few people have commented on the price. Um, yes, it's expensive, but it's not your average 1960s, 1970s, AMT, MPC, car kits, Revell kits, whatever. This is new technology. It's a bigger and a better fit of a car. A uh, lot more detail. Um, you're really going to enjoy building it. And it is one of the classic racing cars of the 60s. Um, I believe you can build it as either the blue and orange one or you can build it as the black one. You can even build it as the gold one. So there's plenty in there to do. Beautiful kit. Um, if you're looking to add that to your collection, great kit to do. So have fun with that one. New from Ming, they've do, been doing a few of this lately. This is the new BMW R9T uh, from Ming. This is one ninth scale. They've done a uh, previous bike, which went really, really well. This is the new Ming, uh, as I said, the new bike, BMW. Uh, from the reports of the uh, original uh, motorbike kit, it's really, really lovely. There's lots of good detail in it. It's a great way to do it up. Um, good size, being ninth scale, so you can have a bit of fun with it. They are have got two additional sets. One's for the forks, which are working forks, and there's some other parts for it as well in a separate set if you want to build onto that uh, on onto the kit. But straight out of the box, the reviews are, are good for it. Um, just a lovely bike as well. It's it's. I'm not that big into bikes, but it certainly looks nice. So um, you can have fun with that. So that's quite good couple of kits that we did some bits and pieces on. This is the, originally the old um, F35 from uh, the Ming, the, the, so it had basic markings and things, Nether Royal Netherlands Air Force or something or other. We added a decal sheet to it. Uh, we chose to do the Royal Australian Air Force uh, 75 Squadron F35 Lightning 2020 rollout scheme. So. That gives you a, another option to do another scheme. This has gone really, really well. So the kit itself is lovely. Great kit to build everything else. We've just made it, given you the choice that you can do a, an Aussie scheme out of it, which is a bit different to what's been out there previously. This is in stock at the moment. So if you're looking to do, or you're thinking of doing an F35 at some stage, and you want to do something uh, a little bit different, do one with Aussie markings, which is, uh, supplied in the kit for you so there you go also this is the new one from them this is the f18f we also got markings uh put into it for an australian one uh, unfortunately you can only do one really one squadron because there's only one squadron flying it so um as a kit the reviews are excellent so if you're looking to do a new generation kit uh of the f18 then this is the one to grab. This is, as I said, it's the F model, so it's the Super Hornet. Um, as I said, the reviews are great. The markings are excellent. We've given you a choice of, uh, well, really the only aircraft from Operation Okra. So that's quite nice, little decal sheet. But I've got to be honest, even though it's got the Australian markings in it, probably be nice to do. But I do have a love of the, the markings that used to be on VF-84, which are now on VF-103 or something or other, I think they are. But that... Very nice black tail, skull and crossbones aircraft. Might be a good scheme to do as well, so you could have a bit of fun with that as well. Uh, as I said, nice kit. If you haven't got an F-18F yet, I'd grab this one, do this one up. You can do an Aussie one or any of the choice schemes in the kit. Have a great day. I'll show you some more later. Bye.